So the 650 fresh water is finally ready for fish. And this is one that probably I'm most excited about so far in the tank room. She's been set up, she's been scoped, we've got the modified filtration on there. If you didn't catch the video, we cycled this tank. We did a fishless cycle within 24 hours. I'll pop the video up above so you can go and check that out. She's currently just having a big water change. Obviously what I've been doing the last four or five days is just continuing to dose two ppm of ammonia every 24 hours. So what that means is the nitrates will be shooting through the roof. So she's just having a big water change, big 80, 90%, because tomorrow we're finally gonna go pick up the fish that are going in the 650. Now if you followed the channel and you saw the tank room tour a couple weeks ago you'll know that there has been a specific and a hard to find and rare fish that I've been looking for the for the last six five months is and it's the only fish that I wanted to see in this tank as the months went on I started to lose hope and I was a little bit disheartened because I went to all the big boys of who specialize in the breed and the type of fish and no one could find it there was none in the country the suppliers didn't know where they could get their hands on the fish there weren't any breeders around so I opened up my messenger to contact the suppliers to get some quotes on a different fish or the second choice fish that I had for this tank and there was a picture from Sean at Tropco of the fish that I'd been looking for my number one choice in the breeders hand and a confirmation that they had been ordered in so the fish that are going into this tank I think they're the only ones that are currently in the country but I'd be really keen to find out if there are any more that's out there but like I said we were searching I searched I had a couple of the big players or a couple of the big stores and companies with contacts globally with breeders and distributors and no one that could find this fish now the fish that's going in it is gonna be like marmite to some people and I'll explain why a little bit later but like I said we're getting the tank ready big water change warm it back up because tomorrow I'm going up to Tropco I'm gonna go get the fish so finally arrived at Tropco, it wasn't too bad, hour and a half drive. Now I've always used these guys for a good few years now for both myself and my own personal fish and for customers. Uh, the choice in fish and the variety of fish that they got is really good here. The quality of fish and the way they're packaged and when they turn up in my personal experience has always been really good. Customer service, fantastic. Um, again, even in this situation where I wanted to find a fish, Sean obviously put the hours and the time in to go and find the fish for me. Over 1100 systems running, thousands of fish sent out every single month. They do overnight delivery and they deliver the fish to your door now one of the best things i like about these guys is every single individual tank runs on its own water system so what that means is the water system isn't shared with tanks next to it or running on a shared sump so say if there's sick fish or they're quarantining a fish or treating a fish the water isn't being shared with the tanks next to it and the other fish that are going out for sale now there's a dozen other youtube channels out there that have already done videos and tours of the facility so i'm not going to bore you with that but what i am going to do is i'm just going to give you a quick montage before we grab the fish So we got the fish, um, I was in, in and out pretty quick just before the moisture and condensation destroyed my camera, but time to get home, sharpish, get these guys in the tank. <sighs> And we're back. So what I have asked the guys to do and the team to do at Trotco is actually package the box as if they were doing an overnight delivery. Even though yet we're getting these fish back and into the tank within an hour, hour and a half. Like I said, if you haven't ordered online and getting fish delivered to your doorstep, I just wanted to at least show you with Trotco how it would turn up at your doorstep, on your doorstep the next day. So you've got your packaging, bit of advertisement expected from any company. Warmers to keep, the, to keep the fish warm, keep the water warm while they're traveling in the bags overnight. Like I said, you got the fish in there. So they're all, they're, they're, it's very well padded. They're well protected. They're not going anywhere. But like them bags are in there solid. They're not moving. They're not wobbling. They're in there nice and tight. They're sturdy. But now I'm gonna show you what we got. So we've got Super Red Tiger Oscars. 
don't know how well you're going to be able to see them through the bag. A little bit misty. Also got the light shine on there. I don't want to keep them out too. I don't want to stress them out. But this is one of the hardest fish I've ever had to try and source in the 20 years of fish keeping. And they look absolutely incredible. Like, well done, Troclo. They're looking really good. Considering they've been traveling, he's not too faded, but his body's fully covered in the pattern. Like I said, these guys are going to be like Marmite, which I'll explain in a minute. There's a reason for it. But they look, to me, as soon as I saw my hat to have them, but they look absolutely incredible. Don't want to speak them out too much because the light's on. I'm going to get my climatized. I'm going to turn the lights off. Let them chill out for the next two, three days. Get used to the new environment. Tank mates. And then what I'll do is I'll give you an update. So five days in and these guys are doing absolutely brilliant. And they look absolutely stunning. The Super Red Tigers are a selective bred fish. And what that means is just over the years, they've taken fish that look a specific way. And they've paired them up with fish that look the same. To just genetically change and modify the fish slightly. So I mentioned a few times, these guys are like Marmite. Now, I like Marmite, but I why. Super red tigers, like I said, are selective bred. Now you get a lot of Oscar owners or a lot of Oscar keepers that like their Oscars, either wild core or the same strain that you would find in the wild. Because these are selective bred, they're not gonna have a pattern, they're not gonna have a color that you're gonna find from an Oscar in the wild. Some people are really keen on them, a little bit different. It's not saying that you're gonna see all the time, but again, like I said, there are people out there, there are Oscar keepers that like their Oscars or just generally fish in general. They prefer them wild core or something that you would actually find in the wild. But it's like your discus you know they've been genetically changed selective bread changed around a little bit just to give us so, a little bit more variety but wow it was worth the way it was worth looking for and i haven't been disappointed already they're showing a nice variety and to be honest i don't mind even though they're all classed as super reds now what the super red tiger is supposed to be is more of the body will be covered in red the tiger pattern is more prominent and more covered over the body and the red itself is more prominent and strong on the fish now i'm not silly and i'm not stupid yes a lot of the generic pictures that you've seen if you type uh, super red tiger in on google the images that come up will either be one slightly enhanced or edited photos that are uploaded to make them a lot look a lot more red but also the same with a lot of sort of bright red and bright blue fish as you have to feed them a color enhancing food but they are doing absolutely brilliant all five of them did have a little bit of a mishap and it was my fault it was bad fish keeping on my part one of them the first three three and a half four days was hanging around the back and it got me a little bit concerned but then when i started editing the first part of this video i really realized what had happened was obviously these guys were bagged up at Tropco would have been stressed out dumped into a dark box I come home whip the bag out dangle it in front of the camera with a recording light on spook it and then throw him in the tank he's gonna sit around the back but no like I said three and a half four days later come into the tank room to feed them he's at the front of the tank with everybody else and they are literally like hungry little puppies every time you approach the tank they're there to greet you nose to the glass and all they want is food even after they've just been fed so yeah like I said they are a selective bred fish so you're not always going to get consistency like all selective bred fish that you get within the hobby different uh, different breeds of fish and different strains there is going to be a variety so it's going to be really interesting to see how these grow out and how they develop and pattern up over the next six months now i do have a secret weapon in regards to the color enhancing food i've used it on other fish previously so i'm going to test it out over the next sort of six months to see how it goes if you want to see these guys grow out make sure you hit that subscribe button now the 650 liters or close to the 600 liters with escaping is a suitable water volume for five Oscars but that's because it's achieved through the width and the height of the tank my only concern is is once these guys hit their 12 inches a five foot tank probably isn't going to be long enough but I'm prepared I'm ready I've got a seven to eight foot space here in the tank room we'll let them grow out we'll see how we're how they're getting on I said the water volume is not so much a concern I do want to get some geos in here as well just to help keep the sand clean which I'm currently in the market for but they look absolutely brilliant beautiful fish loads of personality if you're thinking about getting an oscar go and get one you won't be disappointed you'll never be unentertained watching the tank the tank's been empty for a couple weeks so it's nice to finally come out here now open up a drink sit in a chair and just watch the tank come alive i have tried to get you some natural sort of activity and personality in the tank but like i said every time you approach it because they're juveniles and they're just looking for food every time i got close to the tank especially with the camera they were just nose to the glass just asking and asking for food even after i fed them so the only footage i've really got at the moment is them with their noses head on but i will keep you updated hit the subscribe button and we got some super red tigers here in the tank room see you next week